All right, today we are at Gordon Skagit Farms getting a little pre-tour before they open up tomorrow for the pumpkin season. So if you are local to the Skagit Valley and you wanna see more pumpkins and gourds and squash than you can even wrap your mind around, then these guys are the place to come to. And if you're not local, I thought I'd give you a little tour so you can get some fall inspiration and start getting in the mood. So first stop is, this is like the extra warty one. So all of these ones that are in the green and orange range, these are all called Lunch Lady. So this mix comes in varying levels and um, amounts of warding and also lots of different colors. And then these beautiful little caramel, just darling ones, these ones are called Grizzly Bear. And this is a new favorite. So you can see them here and here, here and here. Here are more Lunch Ladies and Grizzly Bears, just so you can see the range of color. So some are multicolored, some have stripes. There's just like all kinds of variety in here. Look at that. So this is where all the white pumpkins are but until we get there. Look at all the hot vines drive hanging. So everywhere there's just like little treats and treasures everywhere you look. But what I love is that they're using like really simple, um, I wouldn't call it props, but like look at this. These are old like fruit boxes, right? But he's got them stacked in this beautiful way to make a shelf and then has all of these gorgeous white and kind of bluish pumpkins displayed in mass. So you can make a real statement using very simple things. And then look at this beauty. So this is um, Sweet Annie and Hops are making up her dress and then she has a white pumpkin head. It's not so cool. And then again, here you've got, again, the fruit boxes with all the white pumpkins on that. I'm like, look at that. You could totally do that at home. You could just find these at like at a local antique store or if you had these laying around, but isn't that such a cool way to display pumpkins? I just love this. Okay, so one of the things that I love the most, in addition to all the beautiful things that they grow, one of the owners, Eddie, is also an artist. So you can see throughout the farm, you'll see paintings of their farm and the landscape and pumpkins in amongst all of the bounty from the farm. And then you can see they've got the old family flatbed with art and pumpkins. It's just like the perfect combination. So I'll show you a few more. In amongst all of the pumpkins, you can see Eddie's got his paintings displayed. And then you've got the beautiful dried branches. And again, using like found, like things that exist on the farm. So these big fruit boxes, which probably for apples or pumpkins here locally, and then more fruit boxes. But it's like the, the things that would already exist on the farm with the farm's bounty and then incorporating art into the mix. It's just like, it's too good. Look at this. Like, can you even handle this? I just want every single one of these. Just look at this. Is this absolutely magical? So this is a new display this year where they have these big boxes, but what I love about it is that it just, all it's doing is featuring all of these pumpkins and squash. Like there's nothing in your way. There's nothing to be distracted by. It's just the bounty from the farm and you just like, you're pretty much just swimming in pumpkins. So I just wanted to show you some of the displays. They've got these big wooden schools just spilling over with pumpkins and squash. Look at all these. Even the signs are beautiful. Like this little please wait. Like can you even handle that? And then over here, this is this is a favorite variety. This is called American Tondo. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Those stripes. And then just a whole bin of them. And then I just love how he's displayed all of the blues and greens together. Just like that whole combination. Isn't that stunning? Okay, and last stop on the tour. So this is the Gord Galleria. I don't know if that's what it's really called, but that's what I call it. And here's where I just absolutely love being able to see so many of these all in one place. Isn't that just absolutely glorious? Okay, so if you are in the greater Seattle area and you're within driving distance of the Skagit Valley, this place is so worth making a trip to this fall. So they open up tomorrow, um, Tuesday the 27th. They have so many pumpkins and gourds and squash, all kinds of fall inspiration. So if you wanna make a little trip and get away by yourself and come and see this, there's also the eight acre sunflower field out there. Or if you wanna make like a day of it with the family and bring the kids, there's the pick pumpkins, there's cider, there's a corn maze. So you can either go family route or you can go mom needs some time alone route. So either one, there's so much stuff here. So I'm gonna tag them so you've got all of the information, but isn't this so inspiring? Even if you don't live locally, there's just so many treasures to be had.